Welcome to Trojan TV. I'm Maddie. And I'm Olivia. Traverse City Central High School Choirs present Rendezvous at the Jazz Club, May 14th to the 16th at 7 p.m. You can purchase tickets at MyNorthTickets.com. The 2014 Walk to Cure Arthritis is Saturday, May 31st. It starts at 10 o'clock a.m. at Holiday Inn. For more information, contact Lori Rupp at irupp at arthritis.org or call 248-530-5025. Students, if you're having a problem with your laptop and, or you have damaged your laptop, please visit Tech Central. Also, teachers, if you are having any problems with your laptop, can contact Brandy Reynolds at ReynoldsBR at TCAPS.net. Your pre-purchased yearbooks will be given out at lunch on June 5th. To see if you have pre-purchased a book, check the poster by the yearbook room. For students who have not purchased one, there will be a one-day sale during all lunches Friday, June 6th. The cost is $38 and checks should be made to TCAPS. The 2014 Trojan football camp is for players entering 3rd through 9th grade in the fall. The first session is July 21st through the 23rd for 7th through 9th grade students. And the second session is July 28th through July 30th for 3rd grade through 6th grade students. The cost is $60 per player to sign up, pick up the form in the 8th grade wing office, and fill it out. For more information, contact Pom Tom Passanalt at 231-933-3562 or email him at passanalto at tcaps.net. The Summer Heat Wrestling Camp is July 28th through August 1st. The pre -register, to pre-register, fill out the registration form. It costs $225 for pre-registered students and $250 for a late-registered student. The form can also be found in the 8th grade wing office. Have you heard about the spaghetti earthquakes Ms. Brisbane class experimented with? Here's Jesse and Maisie with more on this experiment. Here you go, Three, two, one, go. Woo! Oh, yes. There we go. We got two. Oh, well, it's already broken. In Mrs. Brisbo's 8th grade class, student teacher Mr. Livingston is challenging his students with building earthquake-resistant structures with three materials, uncooked spaghetti, mini marshmallows, and tape. Well, we've been working on plate tectonics, and we've been studying earthquakes and volcanoes. So the purpose of, of this unit was to investigate how earthquakes affect humans. The students had to research what shapes held up against an earthquake, make a blueprint, and price out the amount of supplies needed. Well, we wanted to have them research areas that have a high occurrence of earthquakes and think about how those areas build structures to take care of people or keep people alive and keep them safe. The students thought the project was fun and interesting. I enjoyed the project because um, it was like kind of a real life experience like because you can learn to have a budget but you have to stay on the budget. Each group had their own challenges. Structure turned out to be a huge problem. I didn't read the the uh, blueprints right so I made the wrong thing and we had to improvise. Um, the noodles like were bending and the marshmallows like we didn't have a hair dryer so we had to put them under warm water and so they didn't dry. The project was supposed to give students a look into the real world. I thought that this project would not only help them to understand the process that companies go through when they're building buildings, but it, it kind of gave a lot of real world connections, whether it's working with the budget, uh, working with other people, and putting plans together, and, and coming up with a, a great logical understanding of how structures are built. This has been Jesse and Maisie reporting for Trojan TV. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, the first Saturday of every month, the YMCA holds a dance. Sixth through eighth grade students are invited, and it's from 7 to 10 p.m. It is $8, and pizza is served. Enjoy dancing with your friends and even meet some new ones. Are you interested in the Central High School Trojan Cheer and Dance Team? Tryouts are open to all 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. It will be a four-day tryout starting Monday, May 19th. If you are planning on joining, please fill out the form found in the 8th grade wing office. For more information, contact head coach Alicia Baker at tcchscheer at gmail.com. The TCAP Summer Academy is an online program for all 9th through 12th grade students. You can sign up online June 1st through June 20th at www.tcaps.net slash summeracademy. For more information, contact the Academy Director Jay Larner at 231-933-3591. Students, your course request forms for next year are overdue. Get them in to your counselor ASAP. Congrats to the new Student Senate members for freshman year, Bailey Swanson, Macy Meindertsma, Mary Armour, Carly Isaac, Martin Foley, and Shane Videcki. West Senior High students in the community have organized a 5K 
fun walk or run to raise money and awareness for Pete's Place, a homeless shelter for youth in Traverse City. This event will take place on Sunday, May 18th at West Middle School. The registration starts at 1 p.m. with the race starting at 2.30 p.m. and ending at 6 p.m. Check out EMS Press on Instagram at EMS double underscore press. The toiletry drive will be held on May 5th through May 16th. You can donate soap, lotion, toothpaste, and more. All of your donations are for the Women's Resource Center. Did you know that candy sales were banned from EMS during school hours? Here's Teal with more on the story. Recently, Mr. Urbanski has reinforced Policy 8510, which bans the Student Council from selling candy in their fundraisers. The uh, decision uh, was a, a policy that was it's in effect for our school district under nutrition and wellness. This doesn't just affect the candy sales. Students will not be able to buy sodas or sweets during school hours. And at school-sponsored events, such as LEAP activities, they will have to have healthier food options. Students will not be involved in or have access to the sale of candy, sodas, cookies, and sweets at any school-sponsored event or any fundraising activity during the regular school day. Students will have access to at least 50% healthy food items at school-sponsored events. EMS is not the only school that enforces these rules. All schools, all the elementaries as well as the secondary schools, are expected to enforce this, this policy. The Student Council is having a hard time trying to find new ideas for fundraisers. I understand where the school is coming from. Um, they want to provide students with more healthy options and prevent obesity, but I do think that it is kind of difficult to come up with a fundraising idea or sale that does not involve selling some kind of food that students would want to buy. Mr. Urbanski suggests to find fundraisers that students would be interested and find useful. I know that they recently did the, the healthy food snacks, and I think that's a great way to promote that, the health awareness piece, uh, good nutrition, at the same time give kids something that's of value, something they enjoy. This has been Teal Sikorsky signing off for Trojan TV. That's it for this edition of Trojan TV. Tune in again next week for another amazing episode. Remember, you can check recent and previous episodes on the East Middle School website and on the Trojan TV YouTube channel. Bye! Bye. Stay cool, East Middle School. Oh. Hey there, Grace. Did you hear we're having a Wild West extravaganza? Yeah, but I heard I have to dance. <laughs> well, don't worry, because all we have to do is line dance, and everybody can line dance. You can also play a friendly card game. visit our Wild West photo booth. There's something for everyone at the Wild West Extravaganza on May 24th at Resource. Wow, sounds like fun. Do I have to do anything? Just comb in your western duds.